technically it's not an app but it works on the phone and it can get things done so here is my time tracker application that i built with microsoft excel this opens up a form asking you what you want to do i can start a new automatic shift a custom stiff shift or end the previous shift so i'll pick what i want and then click on next specify how many hours of an automatic shift that i want maybe six hour shift and submit and tada the time is recorded so in this video let me explain how you can build an app like this that can track the time and update an excel spreadsheet which you can then use to look at all the hours your employees have spent in a simple way this video is sponsored by connect team connect team is an all-in-one employee app for your deskless workforce it also has a beautiful time tracking app i'll talk more about this later on in this video for now let's go take a look at the time tracker app that i built using excel in order to create this app we need to use excel on the web so go to your browser and type excel.new this is going to open excel and log you into your organizational account a quick reminder here in order to make this solution you do need excel 365 subscription otherwise it might not work very well so from home just go to insert and you will see that there is a forms option here so what this does is it creates a form and ties that with this spreadsheet so anytime somebody completes that form this workbook is going to update first up i'm going to save my file as from book 8 i'm going to just save this as time tracker and then i'm going to add the form so click on the form say new form and that's going to open up microsoft forms and create a link to the spreadsheet so whatever we build here all of that data gets captured into this spreadsheet here so in this form i'm going to add new and select a choice so when i start the app i want to give my users three choices whether they can start an automatic shift or a custom shift or end the previous custom shift so we're going to say what do you want to do start an automatic shift start a custom shift and the third option is end previous custom shift then i'm going to add new and go here and select a section so that's the first section in the subsequent section we are going to add one more choice this section will only show up if you select automatic shift in here i'm going to ask the question how many hours this automatic shift needs to be the most popular option is eight hours so i'm going to put eight up top and the next most popular option is six hours and then everything else i'm just going to list as they are i'm also going to add an overtime option with 12 hours and for this how many hours thing i don't want to show individual buttons so i'm going to go to the dot 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 and change the look to drop down that way this will look like a drop down option on the screen now that both the sections are set up i'll go to this first section here select this question make sure that it is a required question so that people have to select something in order to complete the form and then click on these three dots and add branching logic what this does is it will let you say what to do for each of these three options so when i start an automatic shift i want them to complete the section two when i say start a custom shift that's it we can end the form and when i say end previous custom shift we can also end the form and at the end of section one i want them to end the form so this is pretty much it uh, when you specify branching logic like this you can kind of create multiple sections in your forms and take them to relevant pages depending on what data they have given and once you finish you can go back and that's it i'm also going to adjust the thank you message so i'll go to the dot 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 here and select on the settings and say customize thank you message instead of saying your response was submitted your shift details are recorded and if you want you can also say make sure you end the shift 
when you finish. As this form is connected to our organizational account and I am setting this to only people in my organization can respond. There is no need for us to do anything else. It will automatically record the name of the person who is completing this form as well as the time at which they are entering the details. So we can use that time to kind of figure out what is the starting time of any of the shifts as well as ending time of the shifts. Let's click on collect responses and you can shorten this URL. You can also kind of generate a QR code if you want, but that's the link. I'm going to copy this and go to a different browser and paste it here. This is going to open up the time tracker app and it will ask you what do you want to do. So I want to start an automatic shift. Notice that the button changes to next if I select that, whereas for the others, it will just say submit. So once I select that, I can click on next and then I can specify how many hours I want this shift to be. Maybe four hours and I'm going to submit this. Now let's come back here to the spreadsheet and you'll see that instantly that record is updated here. So I can see that it started on 10.09 on the 23rd of November by myself. That is the name of my account and it is an automatic shift for four hours. Let's see how this will look if I do a custom shift. I'm going to click here on submit another response and I'm going to start a custom shift. Submit that. And when I come here, that information is going to pop in like magic. For a custom shift, the how many hours option will not be there. So this simply says that start a custom shift and it is, it is at that point in time. When I finish my custom shift, I will need to come back here and then say end previous custom shift and then submit and again that information will be recorded here. So at the end of the month, all I have to do is consolidate this data, make sure that any custom shift that are started, I'll need to grab the end of the next one and take a note of that time. This is very simple because every time the shifts are started and ended, we know which user it is doing for. So I'll just have to select that email address and kind of do a forward lookup for the words end previous custom shift and then I can find out what that time is. So this is the basic structure of the solution and once that is there, there I can then use this data to see how many hours our employees are spending and what how much we have to pay them for payroll etc. But as you can see this solution while it is simple and elegant enough it has many problems. For example, I can go here, submit another response and directly end the shift without even starting anything. And there is no way I can track this kind of garbage data entering my system. So this is a problem with this kind of a solution. Likewise, this solution also doesn't track exactly where my employees are. So for example, if they're going to a client site and I would like to capture their location or something, I'm not able to do that. And this is where our sponsor for the day comes in, Connect Team. Connect Team is an all-in-one employee app for deskless workforce. So here I have got the Connect Team app and I can click on the time clock and I can use this big button to start the shift. I can specify what kind of a job I'm doing. For example, I'm doing project A and the clock starts. I can get on with my work and when I finish, I can tap on this end shift button to finish the shift, I can see how long I have worked on that project and these details get shared with my manager as well once I confirm them. And as an employer, you can use the admin portal to take a look at all your time clock informations and if you think something is wrong or you need to add extra hours for somebody, you can select the information and you can either chat with your team members directly or you can add extra hours to this day using some extra time offs or shift informations. Your employees can also request sick leaves or time off using the Connect Team app. And as a manager, you can approve those requests quickly using this app.
You can also manage your payroll, invoicing, and many other day-to-day -day tasks using the Connect Team application. The link to download it free is in the video description below. So do check it out and sign up for your account. Thank you Connect Team for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you again somewhere else. Bye.